Hi everyone, I'm in Haxton. This is another satisfactory video. Here we are at the base. I'm on the back of my one of the small trucks. Planning to go and get the sulphur mining set up, but we'll have a bit of a look around the base first, just so I can show off the changes I've made. Probably the most obvious one is this uh, great big walkway across the top of the base now on the right hand side and I've had to build a few more of the power stations just to keep up with the power requirements because I've built one of the large manufacturers which is a, a four input uh, manufacturer, ma manufacturer um, to build the more complex objects automatically. That's basically what that whole installation there is. It's all built around the manufacturer, which is the large orange building in the in the middle. It's working quite well. It's uh, turning out the heavy modular frames for me, and uh, certainly a lot easier than making them by hand. This is a, a, an oil refinery, and it's uh, running out some fuel for us. It's been making some plastic prior to that, and I'm storing some other junk in there too. Might as well move some of that. This is kind of my junk that doesn't belong anywhere else box, but I can stick some of this in here for the moment. Come back and get it when I need it. I'm looking forward to getting the sulfur because we'll be able to make the explosives and there's also uh, an analysis that I haven't done on the MAM. Also intrigued to find out why I need an AI limiter, which is what I've unlocked with the Caterium technology now. I guess the trucks could try to run me down. Or a building could self-destruct when I'm standing next to it. So a little bit of fiddling around. There's one of the new supercomputers uh, that require the Caterium to build. A couple of heavy modular frames. does make getting the boat around the base a little bit easier. So there's no real infrastructure behind these two, just uh, they're just feeding from storage boxes, but it's pretty easy to keep the storage boxes filled up enough to keep the machine running for most of the components anyway. That one is actually being fed from the limestone mine actually. I've got a processor working there, an assembler uh, down there, creating the cement from the limestone and sending it on a conveyor belt way across the landscape to link up to there downstairs and then it gets carried up by a conveyor belt after splitting and supplying some because I think it needs cement downstairs too for one of the machines. I think for making the uh, encased industrial beam. And the machine itself uh, for the modular frames needs some too, it looks like. So we're feeding down there. We need some steel girders for that one. 
Though they're not called girders. They look like girders in the picture though. Now I'm hoping there'll be some in here. This is where I've been processing steel and it looks like we have already grabbed as much as... Oh, there we go. I had the wrong box. Some steel pipe in here too. So I'll try and feed that in. The animation for the machines is great. They all have their own little intricate thing that they do. as many as I would like. But they'll start feeding down that elevator. There we go. So now I've just got to work out how to reprogram it all to make the uh, computers and the motors easily. It takes a while to load the components in so it doesn't have the green on its little indicator bar at the top very often. Just when it's actually making one. I don't think there's actually a problem though. the components for what I need for the miner. Just got to think about how I'm going to power it. I think I will bring the power lines out to it or bring the power lines from it back to here. But I would like to run it in the meantime with a bio a biomass burner. But they're pretty easy to build so off we go. It's really rough ground getting over there. I managed to flip the truck last time I was coming through here so and I had to travel so slowly with it because it's so large I thought it better to bring the small tractor this time not really sure how I'm going to put a road through here could be another one of those deposits that I just visit occasionally manually and unload 
I suppose I could run a conveyor belt across the landscape, but it looks a bit messy. And it'd probably make the game grind to a halt. I'm not sure though. Maybe it would work. Oh, a little bit of a freeze there. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I cut it. I played this a little bit earlier today. I'm doing a, a voiceover for it afterwards. Sometimes I can't remember what I was doing uh, at the time. But I have noticed the pod on the other side here. And there's some pieces down there in the green gas, which I can't go into yet. I could easily build uh, some rails platforms across to there and completely avoid that gas. And it looks like get one of the main pieces, but not all of it. Looks like there is at least one piece down in the gas itself. Of course, I'm also wondering what lives in the gas, though. I've been close to them without anything actually attacking me. Just get this put down. There's not a lot of room at the top here, so I have to think about this a little bit carefully. I still want to fit the storage and the biomass burner. Strange, last time I was here there was a big boulder on top and I couldn't get into it. Strange, maybe one of the milestones I unlocked has allowed me to get into it. I was wondering what I was going to do. Thought I'd have to go and find another boulder somewhere made of sulfur like the first one. Because it looked like I would need explosives to clear the top of this uh, mine to access the sulfur because of the big boulder. It just seems to have disappeared. Let's get these hooked up. Might have to build a uh, lookout tower, it's quite a nice view too. Get a look at the terrain around here. Certainly hard to get lost with the space elevator there. That should be visible from the ground. At least close enough that it won't be out of range. I should build those jelly landing things everywhere. And probably an elevator of some kind. I have seen Blitz, uh, when he plays this, build conveyor belts up things to get to them, which is a clever way to do it. I haven't actually tried it myself. But then I could ride, uh, ride all the way up, I guess. Could be a little bit steep, this one, though. It's a shame I don't fit on the little elevator. down I think. That should do it. The 
little crafting bench on the back of these is the most useful thing ever. I should probably try and set up the base so that I can drive it around, at least the tractor, to access the inputs for everything and unload and load. Back up we go. Get the full glory of every step this time. Oh, almost went off. Looks like it's working. Fortunately, it's about to cut out. It's probably the extra. I've never actually thought of it, but the conveyor belts obviously take some power as well. At least that's my working theory of why it cuts out, because it doesn't seems fine until lay down the storage container here and then put a conveyor belt to it. As soon as I do that, it seems to overload it. And I haven't positioned that very well. Or... I believe I have enough components. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it cut out before. But maybe that's because it's full. It can only store so much in the machine before it needs to offload it. Yeah, it's flashing orange. And yellow. Okay, well that's working. There it goes. Oh no, it must be just shutting down of its own accord. Stick in a couple of power shots, what can go wrong? Probably should stick them in the power as well. Oh! Yes, of course. It didn't like that. run on one. That's a no. Oh well, I'll have to stop being greedy and just run it at normal speed. Except, for some reason, it now peaks above <laughs> what the biomass can do. Okay, so we need another biomass burner. Luckily they're easy and cheap to build, it's just finding enough space up the top here to lay it down. That looks like a good spot. Now we just need to split the fuel. Uh, 
perfect except I've got to connect it and then reset the fuse. There we go. Working at last. Now, what to do? Well, it digs up some sulfur for us. I guess I should fix up the power lines back to the base. Our tower would be good too. Tricky to find enough space now. I could always build some foundations out from the edge and place it, I'm sure. As usual, a spectacular view. Still lots of places I haven't been, which is great. Lots of places to explore still. how many staircases it would take to get up to the top of the space elevator there, or at least to that platform up there. I may yet find out. That's the green gas hives. At least the hives that always seem to be associated with the green gas. Try not to fall off. That's a quicker way down. Now, power poles. So we're going to hook it up to the lines that run from the coal mine. It should be easier than trying to run it to the base itself.
does need to be visible from that other pole. <laughs> I didn't really need to walk all the way up here, but never mind. Bit of a short one, that one, but that's okay. Almost there. That should do it. light is still green so I think it's all okay of course the whole system may crash uh, the fuses may blow as soon as those biomass generators run out of fuel but I don't think so I think we've got enough extra capacity built into the system with the extra coal stations I've built today I was having a few problems because it was the first time we have really tried to have all of the machines running in the base plus the new manufacturer which is um, uses a lot of power and I built a lot of new machines to service that as well. I ever managed to flip one of these. I've flipped the trucks a few times though. I may be misremembering. It's probably on video me flipping it a number of times but I don't remember doing it. Home sweet home. With all its coal smoke stinkiness. So let's make some explosives. I should have enough sulfur. Where to first? Let's work this out. I think I can make the explosives here, but they might need so oh, there we go, looks easy. And I've even got enough coal already in my pockets. The detonator isn't here. There's some of the new components I can build though. So we whip up the black powder and then I think it's probably the equipment uh, desk that I can build the detonator. Ah yes, the joys of crafting. It is satisfying in a way, I guess. If it wasn't, I wouldn't play this game, I suppose. It is interesting to take raw materials and you know, process them further and further until you have more and more complex machines. I do like the base building, though, as well. I'm interested to know how it would work online. I mean, I, I guess it would be cooperative. I've never actually watched any videos of people playing it cooperatively. The PvP would be interesting since we've only got the rebar guns and the Xeno bashes. 
on the explosives, I guess. Could get messy. One person holds uh, a particular resource, they could make it very difficult for anyone else on the map. Something like the sulfur or the oil. So there's the detonator. Only five. <laughs> five object scanners, okay. And these are the actual explosives, the novelisks. And I'm out of those. Ten beacons? Oh, sorry, one beacon, pardon me. some reinforced iron plate from the machine that makes it down here. As long as I don't end up in an industrial accident pressed by the machine there. can have too many reinforced iron plates. I need to feed them in the machine that feeds the manufactory as well. Manufacturer. We're almost there. We're almost at a boom. Won't be too much longer I think. space for object scanners. Five encased beams. I'm probably better off making those rather than going to the machine to get them. Well, I don't have enough components to make all of them. I'll have to grab some retask the machine and make some okay, so it's making steel pipes at the moment I'll switch it over to the steel girders I'll get the proper name the steel beams silly me
Just grab a couple as they come out of the machine. That should be enough for us to finish our recipe, I think. Now just some cable, which is easy to make. Always good to have some cable on hand. So I'll make more than I actually need here. But not too much more. Ah, finally! Okay. Now we just have to work out how to use it. And I might as well make some more of these. Eh. So I need to stick some of them into the analyzer. Not sure how many, better do that first. Remember what I'm doing. Can't put them in until you select it on the menu though. There we go. Half an hour I think is the longest analysis I've ever seen. to make a bang. Oh, we might actually check our manufacturing. Oh, perfect. Just enough to finish that part of the milestone. Doesn't hurt to have a few more because I know uh, they need. I need them for the other milestones as well, so we'll leave it running as long as it can. It'll run out of some of the components reasonably quickly, so... We won't get that many more, but at least we've got enough to finish that. Perfect. Okay, now it's just motors and 75 computers, which are really complex. So I probably will need to work on setting up the manufacturer slightly differently to make the computers, rather than making them by hand. Come to think of it, I should probably do it with the motors too. But let's go make a boom. I think one of the trees is going to get it. Sad to say. Yeah, that's not how it works. Uh, maybe that's how it works. Nice. Now it reloads like a gun, I guess. Okay. So I can go and place it somewhere. Like this unsuspecting tree. Or oh, even sticks. Sticks to wood, no less. That's pretty good. I guess that's what all the components were for. Very nice. Vaporized. No mess, no fuss. No resources either though, which is a bit wasteful. I oh, could have run a bio burner on that for hours. Never mind. Well, 
could be we're getting to the end of today's video. I have one more overlook of the base. Have a bit of a look around. Anyway, I'll say good night and take care everyone, or good day, depending on where you are. See you next time.